everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this vlog is going to be very very sweet it's just a couple of days with me in dharamshala with the hyatt regency in dharamshala and it's gonna be magical it's my first time here i've just got a couple of days but the hotel is spectacular and they're doing a great job of showing me around so i'm very excited for today and what's even better is that i'm standing right outside my room right now seven degrees so just before i layer up i wanted to show you how cool is that that's the mountain right at the back that's just like a little peak of the massive mountain range i'll show you some bits of that as well but how amazing i mean i have to say it feels really good to kind of wake up and uh, enjoy that view so stick around So we are now going to head out um, to visit a waterfall and I think there's going to be like a trek or a hike. I'm not sure how that's going to go because I don't hike and I don't trek. It's not really my thing but I think it'll be exciting especially because of the weather and it's nice and cold. Uh, but before we do that, first order of business, fueling up. If you can see behind me there's like a huge breakfast spread so I'm just going to try and uh, grab a couple of things before everybody else gets down as usual. I'm the first one here, uh, but I don't mind because I get to pick everything and um, I'll see you on the check. Okay, so we're all set. I have three layers on me as usual. I have a cap in my bag. I've got gloves uh, and I've got Amrita and Shairi to hug me in case I get cold. Ladies, will you help? <laughs> of course. Of course. Amrita, yeah. <laughs> <One second. laughs> Everyone's getting ready, um, just getting all their stuff together. And I think first stop will be a trek slash hike. And we'll see how the tiny taster does on this Disney? trek slash Thank hike. The waterfalls are called Bhakshu waterfalls, named after the Bhakshu Nag temple. And there's a lovely story that was explained to us about how the temple got its name. But sadly, I can't remember all the details. But if you do come and stay at the Hyatt Regency, please ask them. So this seems to be the trek which is not so bad you can walk all the way up there and then that's the waterfall i'm gonna zoom in so not bad at all this is not really a hike or a trek it's more just like a pathway um, that leads to the waterfall and it's very very pretty and very very crisp so post this little hike basically <laughs> Well, post this little hike basically you have people photo bombing your vlog but i don't mind um the whole thing and then we have one more <laughs> but basically once you finished um the trek or hike the hotel has very sweetly put out like a little pre-breakfast for us um it's just that we ate before we came and that hike or little walk up and down makes you digest everything so i i don't see the point of it what do you think amrita are you are you ready to eat yeah more yeah yeah okay well she had a very spartan breakfast very healthy with nuts and fruits and, and cheese that is healthy in my book <laughs> i had chola badura okay well then i congratulate you on your appetite because i'm done so i'm at the main monastery and behind that is the residence of the dalai lama um right behind me is actually a museum and i highly highly recommend that you do take some time and come here it is a free museum it's all about tibet um the history what they've gone through uh it's i really think you need to come here first uh go through the exhibits understand what's happened if you don't know already uh and then proceed and see what else there is
place right here is the residence of the Dalai Lama. There's security so you can't just wander inside but it is in the monastery complex. This is the main monastery often referred to as the Dalai Lama temple and it's where he holds his audience. So I'm at the monastery. I'm filming outside because you can't take any videos of photography in the main temple. Um, but I still think it's wonderful. This is actually right behind is the residence of the Dalai Lama. So if you're lucky, maybe you could sneak a peek and meet him. Actually, no, that's not how it works. You would need um, prior permission and things like that. But if you're anything like me and keeping your fingers crossed uh, that he's walking up about and you can sneak a peek, then maybe that would happen. Um, but it's still a lovely place to visit and especially if you want to understand more about Tibetan culture, the <coughs> history, um, I think it is worth a visit, especially the museum which I talked about earlier. You can go over there and um, learn a little bit more. Now, I'm not a cricket fan at all and I was wondering why we were being taken to a stadium. But once I set foot inside the HPCAS stadium, which actually stands for Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium. I can see why it's so cool. The backdrop is just stunning and if you're a cricket fan then this would be an epic spot to watch a match. So we're at the Gyoto Monastery um, that's at the back. I'm squinting because there's some like serious sunlight over here. Uh, serious glare, no sunlight actually. It's very very pretty and every time they say Gyoto, I keep hearing it as Kyoto. I don't know why but it's not. It's the Gyoto uh, temple. So we're here at the Gyoto Monastery which is at the back. Now it's gotten super hot so I took off all my layers. Um, I'm in a sweater so really can't do much about it. Very very pretty and beautiful because it's got the backdrop of the mountains. Um, and, and, and if you're coming to Dharamshala, another great place to visit. Now, a quick pit stop for lunch at a local Tibetan restaurant for some lovely momos before heading off to our last spot of the day. the Norvolinka Institute. I think that's what they call it, an institute or a center. Um, there's a wonderful monastery, of course, uh, in front. But what makes this really unique is all around you can, it's almost like an art and craft center. So it teaches you more about Tibetan art. You can see sculpture paintings, how they make things. Um, very interesting, but most importantly, it's got two great restaurants and cafes. So in case you're hungry, this is a great pit stop. Back at the hotel after a long but fun day out exploring and now it's time to tuck into a traditional Himachali Thali. Just finished dinner. I actually almost forgot to take a video of my wonderful Himachali uh, Thali. And then halfway through eating, I remember, so I quickly took a video of that. Um, but it's been a long day. It's actually pretty much the only day that I've had here because this is a really short trip. It's more a familiarization trip with the hotel. So I've actually spent more time exploring the hotel. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do a wonderful little spa, have another sort of traditional meal, do some more fun stuff, and I will see you then. For now, I'm gonna say goodnight. It's my last day at the Hyatt Regency Dharamshala and I'm just spending it exploring the hotel. There's a lovely cinema hall and a nice heated swimming pool but all I'm really interested in is relaxing at the spa. So all of yesterday was spent exploring in and around Dharamshala. Today I'm going to spend the entire day at the Hyatt Regency in Dharamshala. I'm going to explore the hotel and it all starts with this wonderful Shanti Spa. 
The last meal before I leave is a beautifully curated Tibetan meal that the chefs at the hotel put together. Honestly, all the meals have been fabulous, including this lovely high tea that they do each evening. And I caught it on the evening when I just landed in. And then that was followed by a beautiful night enjoying their signature cocktails by the fire outside, along with that lovely cold weather and a fabulous local band belting out tunes. It's been a short but lovely trip and I can't wait to revisit. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, share and comment on this video and I'll see you guys soon.